So that was pretty good. I mean, I, w I wasn't like the best. There were people, be people beating me and stuff all the time. But when you get beat by a kid that's a lot younger, when there's a lot of older people there, it kind of makes you mad a little bit, I think. This must be the factory and so I really played competitively to start that, like with the fighting games and NBA Jam. So that was pretty fun. All right, let's move on here. From the arcade, I went to back home. You know, I still had the Super Nintendo for a while. It was a while, and then I got the PS1. PS1 was pretty sweet, pretty fun system, played Crash Bandicoot, played the heck out of Crash Bandicoot, and we also had that four player adapter so that we could play NBA Hang Time on that as well, and that was awesome because I would play that with friends and we'd always go for like ridiculous games and stuff like that, and we'd always have friends over, we'd have overnights with the four player setup, play all different types of games, so that was pretty fun. PS1 was cool for me, it wasn't the best system in the world, I don't personally think. The most games I remember playing are like Final Fantasy VII. Played the heck out of that game. That game was awesome. And I really enjoyed RPGs when I was a younger lad. It was very fun. I remember one time going back a little bit here. Final Fantasy II, we had that for Super Nintendo. And my bro beat it and he was going to show his friend. And I saved over it and he almost just really just left some marks on me. I remember he was going to beat me down. But... Thankfully, it took me a week, and I beat it for him again, and I think I actually had it better character stats, so he showed his friends that, so that was kind of kind of cool, and he got kind of mad over that, I remember. Ironhide, they're closing in on me. Hurry. Just sit tight, Ratchet. I'm on my way. So, PS1 played some Max Payne 2 as well. You could do the time thing with that. They slowed down time. It was kind of one of the first games they did that. Let's use this grenade blossom here. So, we can blossom. Where are you going, grenades? Going way down there, huh? And so I didn't really spend so much time on the PS1. I still went over to my friend's house. He never had an upgrade to the PS1 for a while. He still had the Nintendo. I would still play the Nintendo with him because the Nintendo, honestly, awesome, man. The Legendary Wings game, other co-op games, regular Contra, awesome. Just, you couldn't beat them at that time. The game design, the gameplay, is amazing. It didn't even matter that the graphics were better on the other systems. So kind of after that, my bro brought home this one device that I love dearly, and it didn't get that much credit, the 3DO. And I would play this for hours and hours on ends, I remember. I would play Gex, and Gex was a very trash-talking lizard. I loved him. Very old school. It was very, very cool. And if you haven't played Gex, you really haven't got to experience him on the finest of the all systems, the 3DO. No, I'm kidding. But the 3DO was pretty cool, not gonna lie. And it was for a mature, you know, audience, so the gameplay had quite a bit of, I don't know, inappropriate, I guess, talking and stuff. And the Lizard Gex was pretty inappropriate as it was. Let's go down this tube. So I would play that a ton and a ton and a ton. See what we got over here quickly. Are we going up another tube? Get out of here. Get out of here. These guys are so annoying. So Gex, one of my all-time favorite games for the 3DO. But that didn't really last too long, the 3DO. Because we'd only had like a couple games. That game and I can't even remember the other name. It was like a fighting game, but it had like fatalities. It was really gruesome. So when we went back to the PS1. Played that more. Had friends who started getting it, started playing it at their house, experienced different games and whatnot. And then I got the N64, kind of late, but the N64, very cool system. Played Mario on that, played Zelda's on it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Played Mario Kart on that, kind of my first introduction to Mario Kart, since I never really played it on the Super Nintendo. And that was always cool, going to people's house, playing that at night. We'd have the battles, you know, you'd fight them back and forth, and we wouldn't really do the races so much as the battles. And I think we have a boss fight coming up here. Ratchet. Let him go, Mixmaster. Sure play, now, it's your no, Mixmaster, I believe it's you outside. And let's bust out the heavy iron on Mixmaster. Oh, he's using that. Shield of his. Yeah, come down here, Mix Master. Alright. His shields are too strong. 
We don't have heavy iron. What happens if we don't have it? Gotta wait for it, I guess. And this should be pretty easy bass boss battle here. Bass bottle. What is that? It's a fish that's in the shape of a bottle you can drink out of a bass bottle. But mix master, not the toughness. Alright, heavy iron, boom. Oh, he just nailed me there. Don't really care. Trying to destroy this. Working on it! Jeez. These Autobots are demanding, I tell you. It's not heard of this at all. It goes one. Grenade on this one, too. Needs are pretty strong on this game. So, where was I now? Got sidetracked there big time. Oh, yeah, Nintendo 64. Talking about that. Mario Kart. Would play that back in the day. Didn't have that much experience on the Nintendo 64 since I didn't have one myself for a very long time. And I was kind of not into video games as much at that point. I was doing other things, you know, going outside, playing sports, played a lot of basketball, played a lot of football. Those were kind of my two main sports. And I was also in track and field. So I was doing a lot of that stuff, getting exercise like a good boy. And kind of not playing games as much during that time. But eventually, come back, playing video games. Got into the Game Boy quite a bit. Game Boy, I don't know which one. Maybe this is late. I might be talking about this a little late. But I played The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on there. And that came very hard and very awesome. One of the most difficult Zelda games I've ever played. Maybe because I was younger. And there we got Mixed Master destroyed. Maybe. No way he could have survived that. He's a little tougher than I thought. Ironhide, I need assistance. Ratchet, are you alright? Ah, oh, this is bad. My damage level is critical. Must initiate emergency self-repair. But the Decepticons are almost here. Don't worry, Ratchet. I've got your back. Here they come. Ah, oh, what's going on here? Right set. Which would be seven o'clock, six o'clock. No, six is your back. Watch your six. Hi. Seem to have just an enormous Decepticon army. More difficult than I thought. Keep them off me. A bit longer. Really, Ratchet? You are just an old, old man over there. Oh, keep them off me! I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh no. But anyways, where was I now? Oh yeah, Game Boy Advance. Or not Game Boy Advance. I had a Game Boy Advance, but I didn't play much of that. Never got into handhelds so much. Handhelds give me a headache for some reason. Maybe because I always try playing them in a, in a car. But played Zelda Link's Awakening a ton. The game was awesome. And there was a huge fish in that game. I don't remember the game so much. No worries, Doc. This is only target practice. And so I played a lot of that, you know, in my free time when I got bored. And that was a very good game. I wish they would remake that game. That'd be a cool remake. So, anyways, moving on to the PS2. The PS2, huge upgrade from the PS1, in my opinion. The games got good. My core functions are back online. Now let me return the faith. About time. And this is when games... Wow, these guys are still coming from over here. This is when games came out, and they just kept coming out, kept coming out. And I can't even remember all the games I played for the PS2, because there was a ton. But I was into, like I said, like a lot of sports, a lot of basketball during that time. And also, I believe the Xbox kind of came out during that time, but I never had an Xbox. Never really played the Xbox. Never experienced Halo 1 or anything like that. And I was into the sports games. Listen, Ironhide. Wheeljack has created an upgraded version of Heavy Iron. It should be strong enough to penetrate Mixmaster's shield. Now we're talking, but how will we find him? While he was busy taunting you, I fired a small radioactive isotope into his grill. My sensors should have no problem tracking him. There, he's in the strap down ahead. Wow, thanks for tracking him two feet away. But anyways, had the PS2, lots of awesome games for the PS2. I, it's funny that I cannot even think of one, but I remember... I had a ton. Maybe that's why I had too many. Keep your repair ray ready. PS2, pretty awesome. 
you guys saw me play a playthrough on the PS2. I don't know how long all my subs that are watching this has been here, but. Alright, but I did a playthrough on Transformers PS2. Very good game. One of my first experiences with Transformers games. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Definitely recommend that game because that was one of the best, not only games, but Transformers games I've ever played. And I would rank that campaign real high, real high, compared to maybe War for Cybertron is better than that, but maybe that's my second rated campaign for Transformers. Which is pretty cool. And you guys seen pretty much all the Transformers games. I mean, some of them are not worth playing, but that's besides the point. So I play a lot and a lot of PS2 with friends and by myself, you know. Had a lot of games. You had the old memory card, the old memory stick. You had to go buy more data because I didn't want to erase my old ones. And they would still come out with like PS2 games. I remember when newer systems were still coming out. That's how awesome the PS2 was. I remember playing Okami on the PS2. That game was just spectacular. And there's a lot of really good PS2 games. If you still have them and they aren't scratched, I'm kind of curious if it ever will be worth anything. I doubt it because the cartridges will probably be worth something because those things just are a beast. The systems, on the other hand, aren't as much of a beast. Where is this delivery? I'm a sitting duck over here. The nest chopper will be there soon. Just hold on. Oh, yeah. Have the iron for the win, baby. You can just destroy people. This gun is just ridiculous. Bust out some grenade blossoms. Let's see where the peeps is at. I have a special delivery just for you. Would have gotten here sooner, but had to deal with some Decepticons on the way. Great. I've got to deal with them the rest of the way. Wheeljack, the package has been delivered. Heading back to base. Give them hell, Ironhide. Alright, so we got ourselves a package special delivery for me. And now I can do some real damage. Ironhide, I've sent you the heavy iron 2.0. Go on, it's fully charged. Fire as you please. Oh, you man. Just a beast of a this gun. Ten times better than the nuclear and shot cannon. Boom. Rejoin the nest forces and evacuate the rest of the civilians from this area. I have a feeling this is going to be rather messy. With your aim, I would expect nothing else. Good luck. All right, Mixmaster. Your number is up. All right, Mixmaster. All right. Ironhide, what's your status? A couple of scratches, but I'm ready to roll. According to our scans, you've reached their base of operations. Stay Pretty alert. awesome base. Mixmaster must be destroyed. Then you've got the right Autobot for the job. Alright, where are you, Mixmaster? Leave it to the Decepticons to set up at a junkyard. My grenade blossoms here, little bitch! So anyways, this is kind of where the PS2 came in. I didn't have an Xbox, like I said. This is where the competitive gaming kind of came in for me. Because I would play Madden all the time with my friends. We would have leagues. Mixmaster's shields are vulnerable to the new heavy iron. Once destroyed, he won't be able to defend against your conventional weapon. Good. Time to make this guy hurt. What is your deal, little guy? Okay. So we would have leagues like between friends and stuff and we would just talk mad trash and there would be like points where there was almost fights going down but anyways I entered myself into a couple tournaments of Madden tournaments at the local mall and these were pretty pretty decent sized tournaments I'd say maybe 50, 50 or more people in them and I somehow managed to win two Madden tournaments I remember the first one I dropped one game and it was near the end, so I had to come back and beat... Well, I'm going to die here. Oh my gosh. Unreal. 
Where was my last checkpoint? I'm pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> As I just get destroyed. Oh, man. Alright, we'll continue on here. I don't think this part took too long. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Do you have a fix on Mixmaster yet? He must have removed the isotope. He shouldn't be far. Alright, where are these guys? They're coming out of here. But anyways, so I entered into a my first... Get out of here, little guy. My first mana tournament. Dropped one game at the end, and I had to beat the the guy in the winner's bracket twice. I think I blew him out both times, so I won myself some just horrible off-brand controllers, which was pretty ridiculous. And I was pretty good at Madden. But Madden back in the day... If you played it enough, you know that there was always, you know, plays that you couldn't stop if you played them right and you executed them right, and I was pretty good at that. So I won my first one, won some crappy controllers, and... Oh, get blasted! So I was pretty happy about that, and a little bit goes by, I enter into another one. Another one of these mana tournaments, and I just destroyed that one. So I won a second one, and I won a gift certificate. I don't even know if it was called GameStop at the time. It might have been software, etc. Stay alert. Mix Master is close. How close? For starters, I've got this. Last you mix master. Owning him just right now. But yeah, so I put the gift certificate that I won from the Madden tournament to use and my buddy that I used to play Nintendo with all the time, we bought a network adapter for our PS2. So then we hopped on with Madden and it was hilarious because I was really good. He didn't even want to he didn't want to play against me because I would just own him. And he was just sitting there with the old school headset on all the time I remember and he just wanted to talk smack while I played opponents so people thought that they were playing him but he would just sit there and just talk smack and he was so funny I remember laughing at him so hard and we would just own I think I was like maybe dropped, lost like one or two games only on Madden back in the day and I would laugh so hard uh, is he gonna kill me here? Heavy Iron Time. What do you got, Mixed Master? You ain't got nothing. You're messing with the Madden Champion. Get some. But I stink at Madden now. If I play that game, it's not the same. But anyways, he would... My buddy would talk so much trash online, it was hilarious. Like, I remember just almost crying while I was playing. I remember losing a couple games because we were laughing so hard at what he was saying. And I don't think we made too many people happy online, but it was pretty funny. And it was a good time, I remember, back in the day. So... No! 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 Really? Really? Oh my gosh. I don't remember this guy being this tough. Alright, so we will continue on. Hopefully I start there. Yep, nice. I gotta remember to transform. Because you take less damage in your vehicle form for some reason in this game. Never understood that. Don't know whose decision that was. No, no. That's where I'm gonna transform. I take less damage. Come on, Mixed Master. Wow, I'm just owning him in the car form. Yeah, the car form in this game. I don't know why they. Look at that. Don't even do anything when you ran into me there. I don't know why they made it so strong. But, anyways. So. Time went on, kind of lost interest in Madden and 
that type of game in for a while, and I got myself a GameCube. GameCube. Oh, I'm cutscene here. That was Ratchet, and this is for me. Boom, Ironhide. Optimus, Mix Master has been disposed of. Yay! So, got myself a GameCube. GameCube, one of my favorite systems of all time. I know I said that about the Super Nintendo, but GameCube is probably, I want to say my second. Because I played a lot Optimus, of GameCube games. We have Autobot designate Mirage online. Connection is secure. Optimus, you are go. Mirage, our scans of Decepticon communications have revealed suspicious activity. Sideswipe surveyed the area until we lost contact with him four Earth hours ago. This was his final transmission. Optimus, I found a hidden Decepticon base. It looks like some kind of giant launching pad. I'm staying on the move. The con patrols are heavy, and I've only got so much time before they find me. Send back up fast. Sideswipe went in to investigate Decepticon activity at your location 23 Earth hours ago. But this morning we lost contact with him. You are to rendezvous with Bumblebee. Then locate and retrieve Sideswipe. Major Reynolds and his nest team will be standing by should you need them. That won't be necessary. Good luck, Mirage. Optimus out. Thanks, Optimus. So, got myself a GameCube. One of the first games I got on the GameCube. Luigi's Almost Mansion. It's just you and me for one. No, human. It's just me. Oh, Mirage. You should know that no one has used these roads for a long time, so I doubt they've been kept up. It might be a rougher ride than a sports car is used to. I manage, human. Mirage, I don't like the humans too much. At least in the Bay Farmers Mirage, version. You have a bogey inbound. Speed would indicate it's hostile and pissed. Alright. It's Starscream. How long do I have? About 90 seconds. My map shows a tunnel a few miles ahead. It'd be good cover if you can get there in time. Alright, so we gotta beat Star Scream here. Whoa! Displaying my awesome driving skills. And so, first game I got, GameCube, Luigi's Mansion. Well, where am I going? Into a rock. Into a rock. Never did that in Luigi's Mansion. But, this game, very short kind of Mario game, one of the shorter ones I've played. A very awesome game. You have a vacuum cleaner and you're Luigi, and you go in, into this old haunted mansion that supposedly Mario won, or you won, and you're looking for Mario or whatnot. I don't really remember totally the story, but this game was awesome. You vacuumed up Ghost, and it had some eerie things about it. And recently, the gamer from Mars, and that's his exact YouTube, I believe, he does these crazy theories, and he reminded me of this one from Luigi's Mansion, and this one room you go into, and Luigi doesn't show a shadow. So, it's kind of an eerie thing for a Mario game to have, not showing the shadow of Luigi. Because... Whoa, sorry, screen. Whoa, where am I going? Where am I going? Right here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, do I have an awesome sniper on? This thing is terrible. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? Ha ha! Alright, but anyways, Luigi's Mansion she didn't show your shadow in one part, and it was kind of eerie because. Back in the day, Mario didn't do anything like that, and I don't know if it was a flaw in the game design, as the gamer from Mario has said, or if it was on purpose, but that would indicate that he was dead throughout this whole mansion play, and you were playing as a dead Luigi. So, which would be kind of crazy, because you are interacting with ghosts and stuff, so that would kind of make sense, I guess, in a way, but I don't know. But anyways, that game was very, very fun. And the next kind of games I got were Mario Sunshine, also a very good game. You had a water jetpack, and this is kind of where they introduce the crazy things in Mario, where like vacuum jetpack, and you use them for a weapon of some sort. I believe I'm driving again here. 
So let's get our drive on. And we'll do Star Scream. Don't go off the edge, don't go off the edge. Open over! Nice. Okay. Always gotta focus a little bit harder on the driving parts in this game. You can't touch me forever, Autobot. And I remember you get an achievement for dodging all these, and I remember playing it. <laughs> on the Xbox. I just walked this. Whoa, into a tree. Of course, the tree just stays there. It's like the twig of a tree. But played Super Mario Sunshine, like I said. Those games were all excellent for the GameCube. Just got killed by a giant metal pizza slice. Mirage. Mirage. Come in, Mirage. I am here, human. Just a little scratched up. When we lost contact with you, we feared the worst. Mm. Is something wrong? I've suffered significant internal damage. Until it's repaired, I'll be unable to leave my robot form. That means you can't access your stealth force weapons. We will rely on my wrist blades. Well, you better get moving in any case. We've lost a lot of time and you still need to meet Bumblebee. 